The investigation of the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. The House Select Committee today revealing evidence Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson was more involved than known with trying to subvert the election. Our chief, chief political reporter Charles Benson is here with the details. Charles. Stephen A. Did Senator Johnson wanted to hand Vice President Pence's staff fake documents that showed Donald Trump had won Wisconsin's electoral votes. That revelation came in text messages between Johnson's chief of staff and a top aide for the vice president. It's a handoff that never happened because Pence's office shut it down. Take a look. The select committee introduced this exchange in evidence today between Johnson's chief of staff, Sean Riley, and Pence's aide, Chris Hodgson. Riley tells Hodgson the senator wants to give the vice president, quote, an alternate slate of electors for Michigan and Wisconsin. Pence's aide responded by saying, do not give that to him. Now, Republicans in Wisconsin created a fake slate of electors. At the same time, our state certified Joe Biden had won the election here and the state's electoral votes, 10 of them. Johnson's spokesperson, Alexa Henning, downplayed the text in a tweet saying, quote, he had no involvement in the creation of an alternate slate of electors and no foreknowledge that it was going to be to be delivered to his office. She calls it a staff to staff exchange and said no action was taken after the back and forth. Now, Senator Johnson was also one of 11 Republican senators who planned to challenge the slate of electors. For Johnson, it was Wisconsin and Arizona, but that never happened. The last ditch effort by Republicans to hand the election to President Trump fell apart after the Capitol building was stormed and the building evacuated. Steve.